My fool does not walk on land, okay? I'm gonna hear it. Keep it on lock by keeping it keep because being you is the best thing you do. Hello, my keychains. <laughs> oh my God. Duh. We must welcome the future, remembering that soon it will be the past. And we must respect the past, remembering that it was once all that was humanely possible. Philosopher, essayist, poet, and novelist, George Santayana. That's a good one. <sighs> Okay, my keychains. So, this is the first video for keeping it premiere. Okay. And I just want to know, let y'all know who I am. Who is Keith? Who is Brian Keith? Who is Keith Brian? So, Let's see what questions we have here today. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? I don't think I would change my first name because like I feel like it has so much meaning behind it. Now that I'm older, like I understand like, wow, I have the same name as my dad. And you know, growing up, I was like, I don't want that name. Like I'm, I'm tired of it. Like I ain't got it. Mm -mm. But now that I'm older, it's like, Dang, like my name is Brian, so like, question says, where are you from? Where were you born and where did you grow up? I grew up in America, Georgia. Please Google it. A-M-E-R-I-C-U-S. America, Georgia. Born, raised, fertilized, all that. Like people be asking, is that, are you serious? Like Americas, Americas? We all from there. No, you're not. You're not from the city tonight. I'm sorry. You're not. <laughs> so what are your best characteristics? Best characteristics, I would say, would be, I don't fun. Um, I like to have a good time. My friends would say that I'm goofy all the time. Not, no, I'm not goofy. Like, I'm a parent, so I have, like, parent characteristics. Not all the time, but, like, you know, I'm going to tell you what's right, what's wrong. All that. All that. All that. Um, but I'm, I would say I'm very optimistic. Um, like I like to go for, like try new things. Like, hey, I'm starting a YouTube channel. So that's something new. What are your favorite things about yourself? Um, my favorite thing is that I'm very positive and I like to think the best of everything like you know sometimes life throws us boulders and stones and corn and you know you just want to be on top of things and you know be able to handle those boulders as they come because once th one thrown you just need to catch it and just walk with it because boulders gonna come all the time it's just it's not about what you react to am i saying this right I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I think y'all know what I'm trying to say because you know you just handle that you just handle that that rock not here because of nothing like it has to be a purpose behind it you know that's it that's it what is your biggest fear and regret my biggest fear is not being successful like um there's so many people out here that have you know, strive so hard and push for so much and was successful, but lost it all because of like silly acts of, you know, getting caught up in different situations. And that's one thing that I try to stay away from. Like I just started partying because I was just like, you know, I'm not gonna party because I wanna wait until I'm ready. And then I, cause I feel like when I go to a party, that's when stuff gonna like 
the party gonna get shut down. I'm gonna get locked up. Like, I was just like, nah, I'm just gonna wait on the party scene. Um, my biggest regret, one of the biggest regrets was, is not being as involved in like fashion and stuff right after school like I was before, because it seems like I took this hiatus from it all and just kind of lost myself um, within my studies. And even though I, I'm my, my aspirations and stuff is within fashion, I felt like I lost it. And so I felt, I regret the fact that I didn't stick with it and just grow from there because I feel like I can be so much more than where I am just starting. But it's a season and place for everything. Starting now is like may possibly and is on time because only God knows at this point. Um, what inspires you? Um, I would say mostly like my family inspires me the most because like we have a lot of successful people in the family and they make me push harder inspire me to like be great try new things because i just don't want to be stuck and like as i get older I'm like dang i didn't try a lot of stuff hard i didn't experience a lot of things that i feel like i should have experienced and that's where a lot of young people get stuck because they want to be in the fast life and you know you want to stop smell the roses try something new and then jump out and do something different yep <laughs> What has required the most courage of you in your life so far? Like, since I left home to do college and all that kind of stuff, have that college experience, I feel like me being here has taught me, you know, just like I said earlier, like the stones and stuff that comes with, with you. You just have to be prepared and brave and know what's going to happen because I promise you I've taken like 10 risks this year just because I wanted to make better decisions for myself and I feel like that's the best thing that anyone can do because it's all about you and you only so I need you to get it together you gotta worry about yourself who is your favorite celebrity <laughs> who is your favorite icon <laughs> who is your favorite living legend living legend legend who's your favorite living legend celebrity all of it you don't even want to know you know what who holds it down for me who taught me who i was who who pulled that greatness out of me when i thought i didn't have it anymore this girl right here this girl y'all see it do you see her I don't think you see it. Let me show you. Because this is my girl. Like, okay, here got another bitch. Y'all see her? You see her? You see it? Wow. Y'all don't know this girl. I love her even more, man. And it ain't, the, it ain't even the fact that she. Like everybody else, you know, they're just crazy over. I could, I can't even, I can describe it, but I can't describe it because I love her as an inner person. Like she's an amazing performer and all that kind of stuff. But she, her inner parts, like how, like I feel like she brings out the extra in me. Like I could be extra. Like I've been extra all my life. This, this. I'm gonna go on to the next question because we can talk about her all day. Um, what is your favorite food? So first of all, first off, I'm pescatarian. But like this month, I'm trying to be vegetarian, so I ain't got no no fish, nothing. So I'm in vegetarian for the whole month, like whole month of December. And I can do it. Like, you know, you ain't into it. Because I'm pescatarian. I don't eat no chicken. My food does not walk on land. Okay? We're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit it. But my favorite food would have to be macaroni and cheese. that and then like right now like I can't eat sushi <clears throat> but sushi is my other favorite when I'm eating fish like it's amazing but right now I go to um, the Mexican restaurant and I get some rice and I tell them to put a queso on top 
because I'm gonna got some today. <laughs> and they put vegetables up there. And they had a taste of that grill on it. Bruh. Mm. Mm. This has to be my favorite because I can eat that all day. I can eat sushi all day. I can eat vegetables all day. I was saying. But I do not like salad. Mm -mm. I can make myself eat it, but I do not like salad. Mm -mm. What is your favorite snack? What is my favorite snack? <laughs> I, I'm not a snack eater. Mm -mm. Okay, I do. I do. I do like snacks. I like ruffles, sour cream and onion, um, and Cheeto. Oh, I love applesauce. The Mott's mango peach applesauce. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's so amazing. Like, it's amazing. Are you a good cook? Nah. I throw down. So with me being vegetarian, pescatarian, and used to eat meat, you gotta learn how to cook. You want something new every day. You can't be eating green beans and rice every day. So your boy throw down. My salmon, Atlantic salmon at that. I don't like pink salmon. Only in my croquettes. Only in my croquettes. But my Atlantic salmon, good. I do baked catfish. My gumbo, I put the salmon in the gumbo. Um, I love shrimp. I mean, I'm like, like, I can just throw it out. Like, my green beans itself just be good. Like, I just get this seasoning. I may introduce that to y'all. I'm a good cook. Like, I throw down. Like, that's all my family and my friends. Like, I throw down. Like, ain't, you ain't gonna miss no meal when you around me. You ain't gonna miss none of that. Because I throw down in the kitchen. And when I throw down, I throw down. That's a part of cooking. You gotta learn. You gotta learn. <laughs> I bet you thought your YouTube was froze. Mm -hmm. But it's all good. Just a little joke. Tune into the next video to catch part two.